In this video, we will be making this clock image. First, we need to make sure that our smart guides are turned on. Go to the ellipse tool and create a circle. Make sure you hold down the shift key to create a perfect circle and not an ellipse. We will have no fill and a black stroke. Make it as thick as I have it on my sample. Next, we will create a tick mark. And for that, we will use the line segment tool. Make sure that you are aligned with the center of the circle and then click and drag down to make a tick mark. We are going to make a short tick mark. The thickness of the stroke will be the same as the last thickness of the stroke that you assign to the circle, so it will be too thick for the tick mark. So after you draw the tick mark, go back to the stroke window and change that to a um, one point. Next, we will rotate this tick mark around the circle 12 times. And uh, since the circle has 360 degrees divided by 12, that will be 30 degree rotation, so between 12 and 1, that's 30 degrees. And we will use the rotate tool. Hover over the center of the circle until you see the word center. Hold down the option key and click. The rotate window will open and just type in 30 degrees and make sure you click copy not okay so that when you click copy it makes a copy of the tick mark and then go to object transform again which is command D so I will just use the keys on my keyboard to press command D command D command D multiple times until I get all the way around so that created all of my tick marks. Next, go to the direct selection tool and click only on the inner anchor points of the 12, 3, 6, and 9 tick marks. Get the scale tool and hover over the center of the circle again until it says center. This time click, but do not hold down the option key. Just click with the mouse button. Then move your cursor. Do not press the mouse button. Just move the cursor over to the outside of the clock diagonally and click and start dragging towards the center of the circle. Hold down the shift key so that all of your tick marks stretch equally. Then make them a little bit thicker. Go back to the ellipse tool. Hover over the center of the circle. Hold down the option and the shift keys. Click and drag to make that small black circle in the center. Select no stroke and a black fill. Next, go to the line segment tool and hover over the center of the circle and click and drag to create the first arrow. And then go to the stroke, click on stroke and click on black. Make it thicker so that it's about 10 points. 
and then also in the stroke window click on arrowhead and choose an arrowhead I think I use number seven it'll most likely be too large so you want to use the percentages here next go back to the line segment tool and hover over the center of the circle and click and drag to make the next arrow which is going to be longer than the first one so we'll make this one eight points and also click on the arrowhead and choose an arrowhead again that's going to be too big so you want to make it smaller it doesn't have to be exact just as long as it's close enough to what I have 